Hello, my fellow patriots. This is Alex with Disabled Vets Perspective. And yes, I know it's been a while. Uh, I've been taking care of my wife, and I, I gave you an update on how that's going. We got some test results back that we are actually trying to get a hold of the office right now to find out what those are. They call at 7.30 in the morning saying, we need you to return this call as soon as possible. And then you call them, and they forgot to turn on their phones, so it still says, this office is closed. So we're dealing with that, but um, also I kind of uh, did something stupid. Uh, got my hand all messed up, real hard to type. You know, story of my life, but enough of the sob stories. A couple of good things have happened in the news, and obviously you can see my hair is like a rat's nest because I can't tie my hair up right now because of the stupid hand, but... Uh, Anyway, so Ghislaine Maxwell just got picked up. We can all be thrilled for that. I hope that strange and unusual things happen to that nasty piece of shit. But we can only hope. We gotta wait and see how it goes. But um, anyway, so that's going on. Uh, Joe Biden crawled out of the basement to do a presser with uh, scripted answers to uh, to questions that were written down for him so he could, you know, look at the question and then read the answer. He was even reading his notes about which uh, which reporter he's supposed to call on in which order and looks actually looks down his list with a finger and says, oh, yeah, Associated Press, uh, this one, I'm looking for this one. So the whole thing was scripted. This whole thing is a game. It's, uh, we are being duped. So, uh, we just got to keep doing what we're doing and, and trying to expose it. And uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to get back at this thing, so don't give up on me, of course. Uh, but uh, I've just been taking care of the wife. That's been the focus right now because she's, she's having some hard times. We're, uh, we're both pretty nervous about this whole thing because uh, she had an episode yesterday just walking, I don't know, 50 or 60 feet into a Walgreens to go get medication and just about passed out, had to sit down, couldn't, couldn't breathe. So it's, it's bad. It sucks. Um, it's like watching somebody deteriorate right in front of you and be totally powerless to do anything about it. So, uh, I'm dealing with that, but, um, wanted to mention that, uh, Pete, the Patriot, He's got some things going on right now, um, you know, family issues. It's, 2020 needs a reset. That's that's what we need to do. We just need to start over, you know, say thank you, come again. We appreciate it. We'll, we'll go ahead and start it over. But uh, we will not be able to do our uh, group show on uh, at 2 o'clock Central Time because of the issues that he's got going on there. But, uh, you know, it's... I always say it's family first, period. There's, there should be nothing that comes between you and family. So uh, as soon as we both get everything figured out and family issues taken care of, then obviously we'll be back because it's a lot of fun. We enjoy the hell out of razzing each other and you know our back and forth exchange. I think it's, it's good therapy for everybody because we, we click and we we do well at getting points across from uh, mostly the same direction, but a lot of times we're back and forth with different directions or different ratios, aspects, so that people can see both, which is, you know, what you need. But uh, anyway, so we'll get back on that as soon as everything settles down. But um, anyway, so I want to do a live show, but... It's so hard for me to set up right now. I mean, I I tried to deflesh my hand, and uh, I actually took a piece of the bone off of my knuckle of my middle finger and uh, put a piece of uh, piece of metal under the skin. I, I scraped right alongside the uh, the ligament and the extender tendon, so uh, very difficult to use my left fingers right now. But. Uh, Anyway, so I'm going to I'm going to get back cranked up just as soon as I can 
but uh, just don't lose the faith. Don't don't forget about me. Don't don't say, oh well, he's never coming back because I am. I just I got a few things I'm taking care of, and that's why I wanted to get on here and tell you I got a lot going on, and I will be back at this. Um, it's just when you can't focus a hundred percent on what it is you're trying to do, people read that as well, and they, you know. I don't need to burden people with my uh, mental disabilities at this point because of being distracted with all the other things going on. So uh, I've stepped away for a few minutes and as soon as we can get a, a grip on what's going on here, then we'll, you know, we'll be back at it a hundred percent. But uh, anyway, I wanted to get on here and tell you those things. Uh, it's good news about Ghislaine Maxwell. Uh, it's time. I think some more some more names need to be on that list and uh, We'll just see what happens, but it's It is time for something to happen because the lawlessness has gotten out of hand uh, Chaz is gone, but it just popped right back up on the other coast. So it's like whack-a-mole uh, I don't know what New York's game is gonna be because they're they're pissing off their cops, and what are they going to do if those police decide to do a mass exodus from the city and go do their own thing? It will be, <laughs> it'll be unfortunate for the folks that live there, but, uh, in, you know, I wouldn't wish anything, any harm to come to anybody who has not deserved it, ever, but maybe the reality check that needs to happen is with the cops walking away and uh, you know I think that that would really get their attention and uh, 4th of July just keep your eyes peeled keep your keep your wits about you keep your head on a pivot uh, a lot of a lot of scuttlebutt a lot of rumors about things getting ready to go down on the 4th of July you know the the fight for our independence. The freedom of this nation was established by that, uh, by signatures. So uh, just be cautious. Um, I can't nail anything down. I just hear that there are credible threats. So uh, when they say credible threats and it comes from the DOJ, they have enough teams on the ground to know if that is if that's the real deal so yeah there are credible threats just keep your head on a pivot but anyway um, i just want to get on here and say that uh thank you for the birthday wishes for lisa her birthday was yesterday she turned big 5-0 um, so she's much much older than i am because i'm only 49 so yeah I, I married a cougar yeah but anyway so thank you for that thank you for you guys sticking with me through this um We'll get back back into it full effect as just as soon as I can. But uh, you know, you guys take care of each other, look out for family, stick together, get your team put together, support. You know, you're gonna need a team. You're gonna need people that bring different skills to the mix. Because if we get if we get to a conflict, which is possible, you need to have your strike team, you need to have your support team. You need to have your people you can depend on. And I know that's difficult, but you got to start working now to get them. But anyway, that's what I got for you all. Uh, things are still just hit and miss right now. We'll, we'll get some answers maybe by the end of the day from this doctor that we, we're waiting to hear from. And I will keep you posted. But anyway, so make sure if you have not subscribed, do that. Uh, if you are subscribed check your subscription make sure you're still there because you know when you step away for five minutes youtube will start removing subscriptions um, hit the like button if you got, like what i have to say tell your friends about me and you guys stay in the fight